Before we show you how to create quizzes, we would like to introduce tasks, which were also a source of inspiration for us for developing a similar syntax for quizzes and surveys. The GitHub flavored Markdown offers a very intuitive way of creating checklists or task lists. It is basically a list where the brackets are used to symbolize checkboxes and by using an upper or lowercase x, it is possible to mark a checkbox as checked. In Lia script, however, it is possible for the user to manipulate these states, and they will be preserved if your document is in version 1 or greater. In case you are wondering where the script in Lia script comes from, we wanted to make documents more interactive by embedding native support for scripting. Coding will become an essential skill in the future, so why not using it to directly extend their native capabilities of static documents and its elements? Scripts can either be executed separately or they can be attached to tasks, quizzes, surveys, and code snippets. The example might look a bit weird for the moment, but it is only meant as a demonstration. You can use scripting in Lia script if you want, but it is not required. Thus, Whenever you change the state of the task list, then the script below gets executed and the add input dash macro will be substituted by current input. Output equals tasks says that the result is published under the topic tasks, thus every script that contains an at input tasks will be executed afterwards as well with the changed input. Task list simply produces an array with Boolean values. Depending on the input scripts can generate different results. It is even possible to return layer script code, which will be analyzed and rendered dynamically. If an empty string or undefined gets returned, then the script will not be visible to the user. We will describe all LIA scripting capabilities and features in more detail in a later chapter. If we are talking about embedding scripts that perform some kind of calculation, data analysis, etc. Why shouldn't this be visible to the user as well? We all know what can happen when you cannot get access to primary data and the code that was used to analyze it. In Lia script, you can inspect these highlighted elements with rounded corners, which represent the result of a script simply by double clicking or double tabbing. The user can manipulate them and observe the results simply by changing the code. If the editor is closed, then the code gets re evaluated.